I'm Tom Frankie. I'm the uh, University System Chief Information Officer and as part of that I have responsibility for the Long Range Technology Plan. Right. Terry Doucher, Plymouth State University. My name is Radia Hall. I'm a faculty member at Plymouth State University and I'm here as a faculty representative. Um, my department is Counselor Education and School Psychology. Uh, my name is Celine Perrault and I'm from King State College. I teach uh, scenic and lighting design and I'm at the Institute as a participant, a faculty participant. Uh, uh, Jason Swift, Plymouth State University, uh, participant in the conference. Well, we're really looking at uh, ways to encourage and support faculty who want to use technology uh, effectively in their instruction and that's the bottom line issue is using technology in ways that are pedagogically effective. Um, and uh, so for faculty to know the resources available to them, to interact with colleagues and to think about how technology can, uh, can work in their courses is the key thing. There was a lot more content related to pedagogy and best practices in the classroom than I was expecting coming in here. I think probably some of the most valuable aspects of the whole couple days were, were the opportunities to talk amongst each other as faculty and share things that we're doing in our classes and build on each other's ideas. No, actually, my expectations were very open. Um, I had a uh, certain uh, desired expectations, uh, such as uh, meeting new folks that uh, come from the different university systems, the different colleges and universities within this system, since I'm only in my second year here. Um, plus, like, getting exposed to uh, new programs that are like the ones I use, but may be much more accessible to the students, and then especially for my students to be able to then take them and use them in their future classrooms to teach art, art education. Um, and also seeing examples from other folks in terms of how they're already using these types of programs and platforms in their classrooms at their colleges or universities. Well, I definitely had, during different points of the Institute, these little light bulb moments. I had my, um, my little notebook there where I was jotting down uh, ideas as they came up of, oh, this person used this in this way in their classroom, and this is what this would look like in a counseling skills class, for example. And every activity we did during the institution that connected with other faculty from the entire university system, where we were actually exchanging what we were really doing in the classroom, and ideas or, or discussion around that, um, I thought that was really rich, and, uh, and I could see how I could apply it. Well, just again, it, what a terrific opportunity to talk to peers across institutions. I mean, it's hard enough sometimes to spend time with people at our own institutions, but then to also be with business faculty that are at UNH and, and Keene and Granite State, that was, that was great. To have that project based around disciplines with folks from multiple campuses was definitely one of the highlights, I think.